Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the process of me making my cover videos. The video that I've shown here is a video that I'm going to upload very soon. I'm currently planning to make all the Stevie Universe songs and combine them into a big playlist. Since they are mostly copyright claimed and there isn't much watch time because they're all short, this video might help me to reach the watch time threshold quicker. From this video, you can also try to make your own cover songs with whatever instrument you can play. The main software I use are Filmora 9 for editing on my videos, Audacity for improving the audio quality, and Shared for transferring my video from my cell phone to my computer. I use my cell phone's camera and microphone to record my videos, and that's why they sound like this. Let's get started with the process. After finding the song I want to make, I would first get very familiar with the song and create the notes for the violin by my ears. Now, I know nobody makes their notes like this for the violin, but they are easily readable for me and I've been using it for a very long time. Also, I'm too lazy to put them into actual notes in MuseScore because it takes way longer than just typing them down. First, I make the vocal part since violin can represent that the best. It is very easy to make, but I hate this process the most. Since it's not really fun and sometimes it can be a long process, and I wish my pitch recognition was better. Also, by making these videos, I'm improving it in a relatively fast speed. Then I make the second violin sound, which takes a long time also. I'm going to take out my instrument and then practice around five times without listening to the background track. <laughs> After that, I go to YouTube and I find the instrumental version of the song. For this song, Drift Away, I used the version from this channel. And I also get the original song and sync the both original song and the instrumental song together, so I have a track to follow. I would rehearse the song with the background track over and over and over again until I'm satisfied with the quality of the sound. Since I am a beginner to intermediate player and I'm self-taught, there are a lot of areas that I can improve on. I'm looking forward to them. When filming the video, I connect my earphone to the computer so that there isn't any sound interfering and I will just record the whole playing. I always take more than one try. There are some tips I can give. So instead of practicing with the music always, I also just listen to the music by itself and imagine that I'm playing it in my head. It helps me a lot with the timing issues and other issues. It reduces the time of time. And sometimes you can just pluck the string instead of playing it to give your left hand muscle a better muscle memory. After many hours, I finally finished filming the video, which means I'm halfway done with the video. I would review it to see if it's actually acceptable, and uh, sometimes I would have to redo the whole thing all over again. And then I will transfer it to my computer with ShareIt. I use this software called Wondershare Converter for making my MP4 readable by Audacity. And in Audacity, this is where the magic actually happens. So my videos actually sound a lot worse than it is, but with some tools in Audacity, like changing the reverb of the song, it dramatically changes the sound quality. I'm going to make an in-depth video of Audacity in the future, since I always experiment here. It's really fun to see the sound just change. And uh, if you reached this far in the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks. I'm going to edit the video with Filmora. Although you can use a lot of other softwares that aren't paid, but I'm most comfortable with this one. Uh, the editing is, process is very fun. I enjoy this process the most. Because all I have to do is sync the audio with my violin and the instrumental track. Then add whatever to make the video look better. And this doesn't take long at all. And I will just shoot a picture for my thumbnail right after in the wall behind. 
on my left. And uh, you notice that maybe the, my thumbnail changes every video. These shots are actually taken differently because sometimes like my clothes will change. And they are usually taken in the afternoon where the lighting is the best. And uh, instead of a random picture, I always have a thumbnail because it helps me with the click-through rate. And yeah, I don't think using a custom image would really attract people. I usually have just a picture of me and then just a picture of something related to the song and then Steven Universe. And that's pretty much it. All I have to do now is to upload the video and just switch to my other accounts and like my own video and <laughs> do stuff like that. Uh, that doesn't sound like that many steps, but my video takes many hours to make. I usually split them into many days and that's why I usually upload only once a week. It's kind of crazy to think that, oh, I spent six to seven hours on total and the final result is like one or two minutes long. But every time I click the upload button, I would feel really relieved and it makes me feel really happy for a few hours. And that's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.